a one-stop shop for the things you need, and if we're being honest, the things you probably don't. At least once a week. That's how often Rebecca Schaff comes to her neighborhood Target. So to hear that less than 24 hours before we caught up with her, a woman was robbed at gunpoint in the parking garage? It's pretty shocking. It's not something I'd expect in our neighborhood. I think we're a pretty friendly neighborhood overall. I was really shocked. But not everyone feels that way. No, no. It's, it's, crime has really picked up, so I'm not surprised. Phyllis Cox lives nearby in the Hill neighborhood, a place she considers to be pretty safe. Yeah, it's supposed to be, but cr criminals everywhere. According to a report from St. Louis police, officers were called to this Target store 139 times in the last three months. Some calls were for building checks and community engagement, but 32 of them were for theft. There were also six calls for suspicious people, one for assault. Sunday's incident was the only call for a holdup. For shoppers like Cox and Schaff, who often have little ones with them, the answer is not to avoid shopping or to live in fear. It's to be aware. I have actually had someone come up to me before and say that they saw someone watching me and my son get in the car and that they were looking out for me. Because while we're all guilty of buying a thing or two we don't really need, it's crucial to protect yourself from a situation you really don't want. Now, the good news is police tell us that woman is doing OK tonight. We do want to show you this security cameras and use sign. These are all throughout the surface parking lot here at Target. There's also quite a few of them inside the parking garage that's underneath the store. Now, St. Louis police say that the number of calls to this store has put a strain on their department. They blame it on an outdated security system at Target. But in that statement that they gave to us, Target said the safety and security are top priority. So again, for the shoppers I spoke with, this is just a reminder to make sure they remember the small things like making sure their keys are already ready to go when they're going to their car and again just paying attention to their surroundings. In St. Louis, Morgan Young, five on your side. We 